President Biden once again brushing off concerns about his mental acuity as he pledges to do whatever he can to help his vice president. <laughs> vice President Kamala Harris wrapping up her battleground state blitz. As she stepped off Air Force Two at Joint Base Andrews in a Team USA jacket, she made no comments to the press as her boss, President Biden, gave his first extensive interview since dropping out of the race. The president didn't question his own viability against former President Trump. Instead, he pointed to down-ballot races as one of the reasons why he dropped out. A number of my Democratic colleagues in the House and Senate thought that I was going to hurt them in the races. And I was concerned if I stayed in the race, that would be the topic. You'd be interviewing me about why did Nancy Pelosi say, why did so, and, uh, and I thought it would be a real distraction. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi reportedly played a critical role in pressuring President Biden to step aside, but Pelosi herself has been tight-lipped about what she's done in the days leading up to his decision. I wanted the decision to be a better campaign. Mm-hmm so that we could win. I did not think we were on a path to victory. So that was really more the thing. He made his decision that that would be accomplished by him stepping aside. The president also pointed to his age, saying he viewed himself as a transition candidate. And he added he isn't confident there will be a peaceful transfer of power if former President Trump loses. Mark my words, if he wins this nomination, I mean, excuse me, this election, watch what happens. It's a danger. He's a genuine danger to American security. Later this week, the president plans to join Harris on the campaign trail in Maryland. In Washington, Mather Rivera, Fox News.